What is up guys? Welcome to another Invoke Performance video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for subscribing to my channel. So today I want to show you guys the new motor and controller setup that I'll be using for my electric cross cart build. So this is consists of a Toyota Gen 3 inverter and Nissan Leaf motor. I had a lot of guys ask me how this setup actually works and I want to make this video very brief because the creators of this software known as Damien McGuire and Johannes Hubner, they put together this open source project where you can control OEM inverter components to drive very high powered electric motors from electric cars. So to sum it up, the Toyota circuit board was removed and replaced with an open inverter one that now allows me to enter custom parameters to control permanent magnet and asynchronous induction machines. That is very, very important because it gives you a wide range of high quality OEM solutions that we can control. So here is my battery here. It goes down to this little setup here. This is known as a pre-charge resistor. What this does is it limits the flow of current to my inverter. So when the inverter um, actually has zero voltage on the capacitors inside of here, if you were to connect a large voltage potential such as a battery to a zero potential capacitor, it's gonna pull a lot of amps and could potentially damage your battery. So that is the job of this. So we bypass this once the inverter capacitors are charged, then once it goes there, it has the logic inputs here that go to the open source logic board inside, it has all of your inputs and outputs. Right now I have it very simply wired to just a throttle, which is a Model S throttle here. Uh, it works very well. The actual potentiometers inside are very linear, so it makes controlling an electric motor very, very easy. So enough of this talking, guys. Let's spin the motor up. I've successfully tuned it. Let's see what it can do. A little bit of throttle input. As you can see, it spins very, very smoothly. If it wasn't tuned correctly, it would be shuddering and jumping all over the floor. But if I give it a quick jolt, you can see the torque can move this motor in no problem. And this motor weighs over 130 pounds, so that's not a small amount of mass. It just shows you how much magnetic torque this motor is able to produce, which is over 200 pound feet in the Nissan Leaf. Another function is I know it looks like a mess of wires. <laughs> it's a little bit more organized than it seems, guys, I promise. So this green wire here is my forward signal. So whenever I click that, it spins the motor one way. So take note of that direction. Okay, we got that. And I now have this yellow wire here set up as my reverse. So I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera. Got it there. Take note of the direction now. Spins the other way. So we have full forward and reverse functionality on the fly <laughs> with this inverter. Guys, this is such a compact solution. And the reason why I really love it is also not only an inverter, it's two inverters, a DC to DC inverter con converter for my uh, 12 volt battery on the system. And it also is a uh, buck boost converter. That device allows for battery charge. It is able to step up input voltage or step down input voltage. So we're, we have over four different things in one inverter. And let's take a look at the gauges. Uh, my camera will actually focus there. I have a few gauges so that we can see what the actual RPM is. Let's spin it up. So RPM is going to be right in the middle with your speed. So we're spinning at about 2,700 RPM. Bring it back down and let me show you the regen feature. So it automatically is set up for regen. So once I stab the throttle, quickly decelerates. So that's just a quick look at the FOC tuning. If you guys have any questions about how I did this, don't hesitate to drop the comment below. I'll walk you through any of the setup and I'm also gonna to link to Damien's video so that you can see the professional explain it for himself. And guys, it is not very hard at all. I'm gonna walk you through the build. So the next video you will see is me completing the buggy build or the cross cart build, installing this monstrous, monstrous motor inside of it. So if you don't wanna miss that action and content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.